and the command is sudo uh, and the program is called tilp. I need to download it uh, you have to write tilp2 but to execute it it's actually called tilp. An important note is that it is vital to put sudo in before because one needs super user privileges to connect the calculator and computer together otherwise the calculator will not be found. So here we go. It might ask you to type in your password. Uh, evidently I had already typed in my password recently so it didn't ask me. Uh, this is not a problem because it's basically saying that the calculator isn't comp uh, connected yet, which it isn't. Oops. Okay, here we go. So we now we need to connect the calculator. Here's the calculator. Here's part of the cable. It goes in right here. Okay. USB end goes in the USB port. Uh, USB port. And now, making sure the calculator is on, which it is, it should turn on automatically. We click up here. Oh, that's right. First we, first we actually need to, we will click up there later, that will be to see which files we actually have on the calculator already. But first of all, we have to right click, change device, and we can just scan for devices. Okay, it found it, perfect. And now, as I said before, we can click here and it will read which, uh, what, what stuff is on the calculator already, basically. Here, since we are using a super user, the default folder is root, but we can double click to navigate around. So double click on the back, double click on home, whatever your username is. Uh, downloads. So yeah, basically go to your usual uh, home area by clicking on home, username, and then downloads. And here we go. Okay, so first of all, marriage OS. It might take a little while. It's a pretty big, uh, big file, relatively speaking. I mean, 37 kilobytes. Actually, um, it's important that one doesn't have too much in the RAM of the calculator while transferring stuff, because otherwise it won't transfer, because I believe at least that uh, this program always transfers applications to RAM. Uh, the calculator has two types of memory, RAM and ROM, random access and read-only memory are the two types. Um, so it's important when one puts big, relatively speaking, applications on the calculator uh, to transfer them to read-only memory. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually not sure it's necessary for Mirage OS. It might already be here. Just a sec. Turn on the light so we can see better. Okay. So that's okay. on. Okay. So now we go to mm, second memory. Here we are. Down. One. Enter. All. Enter again. Perfect. It's already in uh, it's already in read-only memory. So I guess uh, I guess it transferred automatically. That's really, that's really nice of it. Okay. The other, the other programs won't do this. I don't think. I think we'll have to do that manually. But anyway, that's great. Next, we need to put the program in our calculator for uh, playing Mario, and it is called Mario.8xp. Um, be careful to use Mario.8xp and not 8.3p 
because xp is for the 83 plus, while 3p is for the 83 normal, not plus. So since this tutorial is for the 83 plus, I'm transferring dot 8xp, which I believe it did. Here it is. So now we're going to go on the calculator again. And we're going to go to second memory by pushing that's on the plus button. Down one, all memory, enter. Mario and push enter uh, to archive, put it in the archive, put it in uh, read only memory so that we can transfer other applications without having to worry about memory problems. And then just push on clear, this one right here I just pushed, to get back to the home screen of your calculator. And then last of all, we have to put on the levels that we are going to play. So they're in this folder, I seem to remember. Ah, here they are, perfect. Ah, interesting. So here we've got two different versions of the same level for the two different, or two of the different versions of the Mario program. Version 1.2, version 2.0. Uh, I use version 1.2, it's the one that I downloaded as you saw, and so I'm going to put 1.2 on. If for some reason you use 2.0, then obviously you will use this other level pack. And I think that should be just about all. Oh yeah, we can archive this as well. So second, then plus. Then we go down one, and we go to memory, all memory. We can go down until we get there. Oh, perfect. It's already archived as well. Awesome. And then we push clear to get out of there. And we're back at the normal screen. So that's all that you have to do on the computer. So we can close this program, right exit here, press enter to close this. And then we can disconnect the calculator and take the cable out of the computer. And here we are. So I'm going to quickly explain a few things about the game. So to access the game, click on Apps. Then go down until you get to Mirage OS. Enter. I think Enter again. Yeah, there we go. Main. OK. Second to select. Then go down, we get to Mario, that's the only thing we've got so far. Second to open Mario, there it is. Second, second again. On the levels, here we are, level one. So, and I pushed the second key. Here we are, oh, the Goomba got me. Okay, so it, it's the second key to jump, right and left to move. You can see you can get uh, power-ups like this mushroom I just got to grow bigger. And then later on, oh gosh, it's hard to play like this. OK, later on, you may find uh, also some fire flowers. And if you get that, you can shoot fireballs by pushing alpha, which is just under the second key right here. And uh, yeah. I believe that's just all you need to know. Oh, by the way, if you push mode, it turns the screen off. But don't worry, it's the game hasn't closed. All you have to do is push on, and you'll get back to where you were. To quit the game, uh, press clear, and you will get right back to this screen. Sometimes it might ask you if you'd like to garbage collect, it's called. Um, it's usually good to, it's sort of like uh, defragmenting uh, the hard drive. <laughs> so um, it's, it's a good idea too, because otherwise it can get difficult to transfer files and it can seem that memory's being used when it's not really being used. So anyway, and uh, so garbage collect if it asks you to. And that's just about all. To quit Mirage OS, uh, press mode. You get back to this screen and then yeah, use your calculator as normal. So that's that. I hope uh, this tutorial 
works for you guys. Um, if you have any problems, I guess you can uh, ask me questions in the comments. And um, have a great time playing Mario. Okay, bye.